Hello agents and welcome back to another division build video. Well I say build video but today we're going to take a look at a weapon in particular and that is the big horn. So this is just on what would be my regular assault rifle build. This is one I use with skills though when I'm using the test subject. But I've thrown this in because obviously we've got the Fenris for the assault rifle damage. So I'll flick through the gear really quickly in a minute. But what we're going to do is take a look at the changes that they've made to the big horn. As you can see, mine's pretty well rolled and we get 123k total damage with this. 800 RPM, but our magazine size is only 40. 15% assault rifle damage, we've got some health damage and 10% critical hit damage in the third slot. And usually I, I like to have damage to target out of cover in here. But the talent now reads when scoped. Switches to semi-automatic fire mode, dealing 450% weapon damage with each shot. Headshots grant 2% headshot damage and they stack up to 50 times. Once at full stacks, 10 stacks decay every 4 seconds until all stacks have been removed. Headshots delay the decaying of stacks. So if you're really good at headshots, this might be the gun for you. But just be wary, this gun does have some kick. So it's a little bit more difficult than other guns to control. I mean in gunner specialization I have assault rifle damage specced into. You can see just very quickly we'll look at the build before we go into more depth with the gun. One piece Fenris. A glass cannon chest piece the sacrifice. With another two of the gloves. And the backpack with Vigilance. We're then running the Fox's Pro knee pads. And the Sesco holster. So let's just double check very quickly. So with the test subject we're at 58% critical hit chance. But we're only at 48% critical hit chance with the big horn. And that will never do. So what we're going to do then no is we'll change out some mods we'll put some extra critical hit chance in I can change these two because always critical hit chance before critical hit damage one up and then no let me switch over Plus it's a 59.5. So we've had to sacrifice already 12% critical hit damage to make this gun worthy. But obviously now with the test subject we're over. But we can probably make a few bit changes here as well. That one there. That one there. And then there, that one will be at cap. Oh, there you go. It's just under as well. Perfect. Absolutely perfect. So just the test subject by itself hits for a million crits. And obviously that's not using the talent. If we were to switch to the big horn before any, any kind of stacks are really built, we're already hitting at a million. Very close to each other. Let's put some headshots into this. Get the stacks up. It almost gets to 1.3. It's 1.27 though. Really nice. As you can see the stacks are decaying. But we can build them back up. As long as we keep firing. And generally if you're in a firefight you're going to keep firing. So you're not really going to have to worry about the stacks. When we zoom in we can hit for 5.7 mil. Which is well, that's pretty nice. And that's with the full stacks up as well. But it still bounces really badly, you know, compared... If you was going to do this, I would perhaps think about running the test subject and then an M1A with just regular in sync on instead. And I think then you would get the best of both worlds. Is this gun usable? No, it certainly is. But I'm not sure it's for me. If you're hitting the head constantly, I mean, it's really nice. We're getting 600 k's to the body, but then we get 1.2s to the head. Yeah, so 
it's really nice it perhaps could have done with just a couple more percent just to tip it over with it being an exotic it should be more special maybe make it just a bit more steady take away some of the kick but if you wanted to see the stats on it with this build 122k weapon damage 153% crit damage and 220% headshot damage as well some health damage there as well I'll link the build down below in the description where I went into this build in much more detail so you can check that out but what I'll do is I'll put some gameplay I'll run uh, Lincoln Memorial with the big horn and just see how I get on and just see if it's you know relatively easy compared to if I was using my test subject and I'll give it a go and give it a chance and see what it feels like uh, but what do you guys think of the big horn now are you guys using it is there another build that might benefit it a little bit more I would definitely be interested to see and hear in the comments down below what you think give me some ideas if I could run a better build with it that might make it a bit more viable but I don't really want to take away from its damage boost I don't really want to be messing around with weapon handling and things like that so I think just going all out damage like I've done here is probably the best way but let me know down below what you think come and check me out over on twitch twitch.tv slash dj tickle i could be streaming there right now so do come over and say hi hit that thumbs up to help me out with this youtube algorithm and hit that subscribe button for much much more division content i put out as many videos as i can as often as i can and thanks for watching everybody i'll see you in the next one goodbye Secure the memorial and remove the True Sun's forces. If they maintain this outpost, the True Sun's will be a direct threat to the campus. Got a visual on additional hostiles in the memorial compound. They're moving south. There's a gate between you. It looks closed from here. Agent, you'll need to find a way to open that gate. Assistance needed. Agent down.
Vital science critical. All clear. I repeat, the compound is all clear. Now that can't be all of them. Check the interior while I get Henry's people to maintain the perimeter. since I've turned the memorial into a base. There's an area beneath you with increased security. Isaac can't access data on this location. Stay alert. I don't know what you're walking into. Just ID those shells as chemical weapons. We can't afford to let the true sons escape with those. You gotta find a way to close up that tunnel.
According to the schematics Isaac pulled upstairs, we can lock that tunnel door from their control center. That should keep them from being able to transport those mortars loaded with DC-62. That should keep them from getting more of those mortars. You think closing the tunnel was smart? Fuck you! You slots yourself in with us! I'll make sure you rock down here! Better not get hit again. Go on and head back up. The team from the campus has taken position inside the memorial. If you hadn't stopped them, I know they would have used those weapons on us, and we would have ended up like Castle. I can't tell you how relieved I am to have you on our side. Thank you. Today, we dealt a great blow to the True Sun's infrastructure. We confiscated a massive cache of chemical weapons, and...